Dang it. You know, I realized something. I realized that in my video montage, yeah. Let me, let me straighten out my glasses. Because I got to look fleek, baby. You got to look fleek. Fleek. It's all about the fleekness, you know. It's all about the image. Image is everything. Substance is highly overrated. And I realized something. I I should have I should have included I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore in my video montage opening for this show, which this is not the official opening of the show. Shut up. Shut up, Johnny Rotten. Johnny Rotten is not an anarchist, by the way. He just, it was a fashion statement. Just going to throw that out there. Uh, I, I kind of like Public Image Limited. Eh, they're, I mean, they're, they're good. Uh, uh, not great, but, but I like them. But that's beside the point. That's not why we're here. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, for this. Guns don't solve problems. Guns don't make you a superhero. We're going to get back to that, folks. But before we do, I, I want to set things up. I want to set the tone. I want to get everyone all warm and toasty and tasty and delicious from the inside out. I want to prepare you in the proper Facebook way. Set the Facebook tone. By the way, the, well, you'll find out what the title of the show is. I see the usual gang of misfits and dope addicts are here. <laughs> yeah, they are. Look at that. Look at those assholes over there. Ordinary fucking people. I hate them. <laughs> Me too. Yes, that is Bill Murray. In that movie. And she walks away. And he's shocked. Aliens yes, land on the Earth Johnny and say Depp. they're going to blow up the world in two days. What do you this do? If I got that money, I'd give it all to the homeless. Yeah, you would. Every cent. You're beautiful. If you're going to openly be a bitch. It's just Heather. Why can't we talk to different kinds of people? Fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Yep. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. All the time. This. This right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't even ask any questions. Just shot. Just fired. No. See, an ordinary person spends his life avoiding tense situations. Mm -hmm. Facebook! A man spends his life getting into tense situations. <laughs> From the movie you want answers? I think answers. I'm entitled. You to want answers? I want the truth. You mm -hmm. can't handle the yeah, truth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then this right here. This right here. This is this is how we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw this show out, man. So <laughs> I will I will protect the names. I'm not going to say the names of the innocent because some of you are not so innocent, but uh, I'll protect the names nonetheless. For future shows, by the way, for future face posium shows, if you'd like your name to be used in the show, like if I use your comment, yeah, just let me know. I'll use your name. But for now, I'm just going to just gonna not use names. This is the post. So first off, I want to do a dissection of this post. Guns don't solve all problems. Guns make you a superhero. Oh, okay. Let's, let's check out the first part of that. Guns don't solve all problems. Hmm, true or false? Do guns solve all problems? No. 
No, no, no. I uh, just the other day, I uh, uh, the ketchup was uh, the 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 cap. I, it was too tight, man. Couldn't get it off, man. I tried. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't budge so i had to go get my wife Uh, she's stronger than me and uh, she got it off for me see notice i didn't i didn't you know what i didn't do yeah i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you what i didn't do yeah 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 i should have had this prepared i didn't pull out my freaking gun don't worry it's not loaded it's just for cosmetic purposes only but i didn't pull out my freaking gun I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't shoot the ketchup bottle. So it was a problem that uh, that my gun didn't solve. Yep. So that that statement's true. Yeah. Now, now here's a second statement. Now this one's going to be hard for some of you in the uh, pea crunching crowd to <laughs> maybe comprehend. Guns don't make you a superhero. I'm thinking about this. Superman. Superman didn't even have a freaking gun. Um, let me see. I think. I think. W- would Batman use a gun? I don't know. I don't remember if Batman used a gun. I-, I think there's probably some superheroes. I can't think of any offhand. I know there are some superheroes that use guns, but most superheroes, I don't think they use guns. Wonder Woman. Mm-mm. She got that truth lasso. No gun. Yeah. And the interesting thing is. Even the superheroes that use guns. And I, I think there are who oh man, why can't I I know there's one it's kind of in the back vague suggestion of a formation of a thought of a superhero that used guns. And I just can't think of it. My my brain is just freaking sometimes my brain is just like, Hey, hey dude, wanna play a joke on Paul? Every mother freaking day, you know I do. Hey, you know that thing that he knows, that he totally knows? Yeah, let's block him from getting that information. Thanks, Brain. I appreciate that. But even 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 the one that I'm vaguely thinking of, uh, the gun didn't actually make him a superhero. And I know a lot of people that own guns, and uh doesn't make them superheroes. So, guns don't solve all problems. That's a fact. Guns don't make you superheroes. And that's a fact. You come across a Facebook post like this. What's your first response? Your first response tells me a lot about you. Not a, I don't. I don't want to be absolute in that statement because sometimes there's other stuff going on in people's lives you don't know about. That uh, there there are anomalies. There are times you respond to things that you don't think. And uh, but still, it's a pretty fair chance. I'll say better than fifty fifty chance that your first response tells me a lot about you. Now, I'm not trying to give you guidelines for how you respond to Paul's post because (laughs) screw that guy. It it ain't about that guy. Uh, I just, I just got to tell you a little bit, uh, maybe some pro tips, which you can take or leave, leave or take. I'm not a professional Facebooker, although I have been paid, literally paid. To use Facebook, so I guess you could say I'm a professional Facebooker because I was paid to use Facebook. So, I guess you know what? Screw it. I'm a professional base Facebooker. Take my freaking word for it, because I'm a professional Facebooker. So as soon as you're paid to do something, you're a professional, which makes you an expert, which means everybody needs to listen to you. So, I'm. I guess I'm a professional Facebooker, but still, you can you can take what I have to say with a grain of salt. But you come across a post like this. There's a lot of things that are unsaid about this post, aren't there? I believe that uh, some people, maybe they refer to this as a troll post. That's that's one one. Some people call it vague posting, although I think vague posting is more used when someone says, "My f f o m f g, I can't believe you," and that's all they say. That's generally more what vague posting is. But eh, we can kind of loosely say maybe this could be vague posting too. But it's pretty wide open. What exactly does this person mean? Now, for people who know me, for people who interact, no, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to make it about me. If if you run across this post, no matter if if whether I wrote it, whoever wrote it, it doesn't matter. 
if you see this post and if you know this person, the degree to which you know this person may inform you a little bit of what they're trying to talk about. And obviously, in that short a sentence, I'm not trying to make a complete dissertation. Nobody is if they make that complete sentence or that 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 brief sentence. You know, you know, if it goes any longer, dude, you lose you lose the background, man. I don't want to lose the background. You lose the background, nobody sees your freaking post. Okay, well, some people might, but more people see your posts when you have the background. So, and, you know, most people, they know this. They're fully aware of this. So you come across this post. All it says is guns don't solve all problems. Fact. Guns don't make you a superhero. Fact. I know this guy. I know this guy. I live with this guy. I've had sex with this guy. I don't know this guy for Adam. I've never met this guy. Those are like maybe the extremes. Uh, I've lived with this guy. I've been married to him for 300 years. I, I, I didn't even know this guy was my friend, <laughs> Facebook friend, whatever. <laughs> I don't even like, well, why do I call it friends? We're not friends. Most of us, the overwhelming majority of us are not friends. Some of us become friends at varying degrees, some more casual than others. Actually, I have a few close friends that I met on Facebook, so it's not totally inappropriate, but generally speaking, most people that we call Facebook friends, they're not even friends. They're not even, they're just like, they're 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 following your stuff you're following their stuff and or or maybe they're not maybe you're only following their stuff or they're only following your stuff but anyway so you got those two extremes you come across this you know the person you know them really well or you know them well enough to understand maybe the person you know is 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 one of them der gun grabbers so you know there's a connotation there if they're a gun grabber. You know that this person is, uh, maybe they do a show on Monday nights called Full Auto in which they regularly talk about guns and they have regularly expressed uh, wholehearted, not, not, I don't support the Second Amendment. I don't give a crap about the Second Amendment. And I don't even appeal to rights. I don't give a crap about rights. Uh, all I got to say is I have a preference to be able to have tools of self-defense and offense if need be. So pff, that's it. That's the only thing I stand on. And I mean to back it up with uh, whatever power I may possess and the network uh, that I may belong to possesses. That's it. Or... Maybe I'm a gun grabber and I post stuff all the time like, oh, man, it's a choice. I made a meme recently. Uh, yeah, let me go find that meme. Let me see if I can find that meme. It's a pretty good meme. Eh, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to find it. I'm just going to tell you about it. You're going to have to visualize. It's a picture and it says, uh, well, it's a picture of a potato and a potato looks like a person. And somebody's holding the potato in its hand. And it really looks like a person's face, like a really creepy person's face. And on top it says, uh, uh, guns or ki children, choose. And then and then below it it says, says the potato. <clears throat> or maybe I'm posting guns or children, choose. And it's not a potato. It's, it's a mother holding her child weeping. Whatever. <laughs> if you have any contact with me. Right away, that sets the tone. Now, let's say you don't know anything about me. You may be a Facebook friend of mine, and not me specifically, just the general me, whatever, whoever whoever may have posted this. And you see this and you think, oh, man. So I would say hmm, if, if you are of the gun rights crowd, you may immediately be triggered because you may be immediately thinking, oh, no, oh, no, this person. This is this is this is whispering gun grabbing things. That's what this is. Let me go in there and let me just hammer away. That's the that's the James Dean thing. That's why I included the James Dean part. I got the bullet. Yeah, the cops just fired away. Killed poor Salminio. What is it didn't see it in the clip, but he had red and green socks, which by the way, interesting factoid, the Red and green was supposed to uh, uh, symbolize the going at the at, at light speed towards light and, and away from light because it goes red and green. But anyway, I don't think that really matters. 
Sal is dead. Like the real Sal is dead, and the character Sal is dead. I got the balloons. Yeah, you didn't ask any questions. You just came in and you fired away. And that tells me something about you. Now, again, I don't want to make this like absolute sure this is who you are if you're one of these people that came in and, and did something like this. But it's a strong suggestion. Better than 50%, I'll say. Better than 50% chance that you're not a terribly deep critical thinker. That you react primarily from your emotions. You see something and it triggers a certain existential threat response and you immediately lash out rather than asking questions. Now, if say the 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 meme if it's kind of it's not really a meme, it's kind of a meme. Facebook has has made us all meme makers although it's I would call this a a pobo, a po boy, po boy, a meme, kind of a kind of a Kind of a low-class, low-rent meme, as memes go, but uh, <laughs> be that as it may. If, if you know something about the person, and you know they're somewhat of a gun-grabber kind of person, I could see maybe you come in and right away, sort of like, what are you talking about, man? You know, guns are blazing, literally. <laughs> well, not literally. But <laughs> who knows if you see him in person? I have no idea. Some of you... Kind of scare the crap out of me, man. I don't know if I want to meet you in person. Some of you. N very, very small amount. Hard I, I would say that's not true of most of you. Hardly any of you. But but every once in a while, <laughs> some of you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if I want to be alone in a dark alley with you. Unless I had a gun. <laughs> or a few. Like a few guns. <laughs> a few friends with guns. I don't know. Uh, I could see you, you coming in. And then and the flip side. The flip side is true, too. Maybe, maybe you're the gun grabber. And you automatically assume that this meme whatever thing is, it's about, it's about pro-gun stuff. It's probably not going to assume that from this post. But you could. You, you definitely could assume that. Uh, so you're going to come in, guns a blazing. I don't know. Maybe not guns a blazing. Maybe, uh... I don't know. What would a gun grabber? Gun grabbers wouldn't come in guns a blazing. Maybe they'd be like hurling like marshmallows at you. Marshmallows, marshmallows a tossing. That's what they would be. Marshmallows a tossing, without asking any question. You know, if that was the case, if it was gun grabbers, marshmallows a tossing, then that James Dean uh, thing would have been different. You know, Sal would have been hit with a few marshmallows, knocked over. Uh, maybe hit his head. Ow, ow. James Dean would be like, I have the, well, like, dude, I have the bullets. Dude, hey, here's the bullets. Quick. They only have marshmallows. Fire back. Get them. Get them. Get them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's a terrible joke. I make these jokes, and they're all on video, and I know so many of them are, are going to pretty much uh, get rid of my chance to ever be president of the United States. If I ever ran for president of the United States and I ever became a serious contender, dude, there's so many things they can go back and get me on. It ain't even, ain't even going to happen. And I don't have a multi-billion dollar uh, empire behind me. Plus my skin, as you could say, it's gray. This is, this is like, I'm not in black and white. This is what I look like naturally. This is it. Uh, so my skin is not orange enough to pull that off. So, yeah, no, no questions asked. This, this is when people come in and they and they disagree and they ask questions in their disagreement. I'm cool with that. Uh, I'll, I'll interact with you. I'll try to figure it out, see if we can find common ground, or maybe we can't. But if you come in guns a blazing, I'm probably not going to pay much attention to you, other than maybe to say, "Hey, hi, how you doing?" Now, uh, <laughs> you can take it personally. And when I do uh, little things like this, which, by the way, I'm going to continue to do things like this, so just so you know. Uh, I will continue. I have been doing it for a long time, and I will continue to do it. And I may get to why it is that I do things like this. I may not. I don't know. This is kind of off the cuff, so I don't have anything planned. So it's one of those times where you may have, you have a thought in your head, like, oh, yeah, I want to talk about that. And you go over everything, and then afterwards, you're like, dang it, I didn't get back to that. Whatever. I may get back to it, but uh, if, if, if you ask questions, 
and and you don't come in with uh, you're an idiot or oh oh well you're you're oh I see you've gone commie on me or whatever whatever it might be yeah I'm probably not going to take you seriously I'm I'm right away I'm not permanently putting you in a category I may if I've seen this kind of activity from you over and over again but but immediately i'm putting a little red flag i'm putting a little pin in it with a little note that says might not be the best critical thinker might not be the best type of person to waste your time trying to have a discourse with might not be now again don't get me wrong i've had my own moments where i was the one that charged in guns a-blazing without asking questions and just assumed something because because you wrote something in a vague way that i didn't understand and i automatically leapt to conclusions and assumed worst case scenario and attacked you it's happened it'll probably happen again so like i said this isn't a absolute like you've done this and this is the category that you're in it's just that little little pin in it and then if you see that over and over again then you're like okay this is more than a than a, than a little pin this is more than a little red flag now i'm i'm gonna go ahead and put you in that category and then pretty much i'm done with you i move on so now i'm gonna get to the comments now i'm not going to say names i don't want to do that because this isn't about calling anybody out trying to uh embarrass anyone uh although um, some of you when i read your comments there's there's nothing to be embarrassed about and some of you even if i think you should be embarrassed you're you won't be embarrassed at all. And I, I'm, I am absolutely not the objective arbiter. No, no such thing exists. But I am not the objective arbiter of what should embarrass you or should not embarrass you. So, I mean, I'm wearing a freaking bow tie right now. Fight me. And I'm doing it on purpose because it's all about the visuals. It's all about the visuals, man. Truth doesn't matter. Reality doesn't matter. None of that. It's all about the visuals. Your perception is your only reality. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got a comment here from someone. This was, I think, yeah, it looks like, now I don't know if Facebook is lying to me, but I think it was the first comment. And this is a person who said, you got commie fever again today. <laughs> now that one, that's kind of, uh, I mean, you're kind of leaping to some conclusions. You're not asking questions, but... Yeah, that's that's not too bad. I it's I, maybe you're being playful too, so I I don't want to read too much into that. And actually, that I'm not going to go through that thread. But that was a that was an okay con conversation there. There was there was just nothing wrong with that. And uh, and then uh, someone commented and said, but but they do solve problems. See, that's that's fine. That's great. See, what you've done here is you've recognized I've made a statement. Guns don't solve all problems. And then you came back and you said, but they do solve some problems. That was like, that was a statement. In a way, it was kind of like a question, but it was a statement. And it, and it kind of, it was a conversation continuer. It wasn't a conversation shut downer. It was a conver conversation continuer. But they do solve problems. And then it gives me a chance to say, I offer clarification. So in his case, I said, yep. I said, they do. And the better trained and practiced you are, the more effective they can be. So right away, this person gets clarifying information from me. What do I mean? He didn't even ask, what do you mean? He just made a statement. And it was a good statement. It was a good, he made a clarifying statement. And it gave me an opportunity to either agree or, or disagree. And, uh, and that was a pretty constructive uh, thread that we ended up going through <laughs> and then uh now this one's somebody who somewhat knows me so i think he was joking uh and he just said wrong <laughs> that was hilarious so i said nope i'm right and then he put a uh a, a gif of uh uh super troopers dude saying mother of god and of course i responded with my own gif gif or jif what do you pick you know let's take a poll and I have a a, a, a gif of uh, of Jim Carrey going in response, and that was that. And then somebody else said they level the playing field. Again, that's a fine statement, right? That's a that's a that's a that's a statement, but it's also kind of a clarifying statement. It gives me an opportunity to have a conversation. And they level the playing field, and I said, "Yep." Well, I didn't say "yep," but I did in my head. I said, "Yep." They are a force equalizer. Yes. 
And then somebody else joined in the thread and said they can, but they can also make the players in the playing field worlds apart. Yeah. So there, this person is pointing out, yeah, it's, it's again, it's, uh, it's sometimes, sometimes somebody else has weapons that even if you have a weapon, they have a big, big dis disparity, disparity and advantage. But anyway, that was a good thread. It was good back and forth. Good, nice conversation. People kind of gaining a better understanding of what they thought in a pretty civil way. And I added this, and I wanted to make sure that that, that uh, I added this in the and I was not. I knew, by the way, when I made this uh, post originally, there was a lot unsaid. You could read this a lot of ways, and yes, that's what I want. I want you to read in a lot of ways. I want to have conversations. I want to see what people think. I want to, I learn from, uh, I learn from the people that have conversations. I don't learn from the people who come in with guns a blazing or, or if you're going to grab her, marshmallows a tossing. Uh, so I clarify in, in the comments, which I never would have put in the OP because that would ruin my OP and what I was trying to do. This is, this OP is not an endorsement of any gun regulation. I support the privatizations of nukes. And yes, I belong to the Bear Nukes Caucus, thanks to James Weeks, who, who introduced me to it. And I was like, oh my God, there's a, there's a Bear Nukes Caucus? Sign me up. So, yeah, I'm in the Bear Nukes Caucus, and I'm a proud member, and I love it. It may be my favorite caucus that I'm in. As a matter of fact, it's the only one I'm in. But if I was in another caucus, it would still be my favorite caucus. And then uh, somebody wrote, in the same way a spoon does not solve cutting your steak... I understand what you meant, or a screwdriver and a nail issue. And and yes, now, I don't pretend to exactly know what he's meaning from that statement because, you know, it's still kind of vague, but it's, I think I understand him. I, I And I think from that statement, he understands the point that I'm making, that the solutions that we we are looking for, we in, in quotation marks, the aggregate. Let's just say I'm talking about the aggregate of folks that are seeking to, uh, to see an end to the coercive enterprise model. The solutions, it's, it's not all about guns. There's, there's other tools <laughs> uh, to talk about. There's other, there's other worries. There's other concerns. There's other solutions. So, I think he kind of gets where I'm going with this, where I'm, where I'm hoping to go in the conversation below the post. And then uh, somebody else comments, I understand what you're saying, but you need a better cut of beef. <laughs> uh, so if you can't cut your steak with, with the spoon, you need a better cut of beef. And then I offered, because this person seemed to understand what I was saying, so I wanted to give this person more more clarification. So I said, well, the gun issue in many ways is paralyzing a lot of people. The fear it is producing, which is not without merit, mind you, is producing anxiety in people that is preventing them from moving in other areas where the efforts to enforce gun control can be rendered feckless. And no, not just with guns. So there, I offered a little bit of clarification, which, again, I had no intention of being clarifying in this OP, which hopefully I'll remember to explain more in detail at the end. And then we had this individual. This is the first of the comments that uh, really made me think about, well, in it, this comment in part is the birth of... Uh, face posium. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commenter. You think that's the mentality of gun owners? Turn off the TV. Now, let's just take that statement. Now, some folks have said, well, you know, you really should be clarifying. You know, you, you need to make a clarifying point there. Uh, why? Why do I need to make a clarifying point? Am I presenting a dissertation? Am I presenting a lecture? Am I engaged in an, in a debate in which I'm fully, you know, following the rules of logic, rules of debate, whatever friggin' things them things are called? Am I doing that? 
It's a freaking Facebook post. Now, I, I don't feel the need whatsoever to offer a clarifying statement in in a freaking Facebook post that's designed to fit within the color background to get people's attention to start a freaking conversation. No, not, no, I'm not going to do that. Honestly, people won't read those things anyway. But what did this person do? You think that's the mentality of gun owners? Turn off the TV. This person decided based, I don't, I don't even quite get that. This person is assuming that I am describing the mentality of gun owners. Maybe I am. I'm not saying I'm not. And actually, in part, I am, but only in part, which I'll get to here. So I, I've responded. You've, you've read a lot into this OP. Now, immediately, because of how this person responded, I'm not as interested in potentially having a conversation with this person. I'm not totally shut down to it, but immediately I'm thinking, okay, this is the first person that uh, this is – I won't say it's guns a blazing. Uh, I'll say it's uh, he's shooting rubber bands. He's not he's not quite going to guns, but he's shooting rubber bands at me with the whole turn off the TV because now he's making an assumption about me that I must assume that uh, all gun owners think that uh, guns solve all problems and all gun owners think that guns make them superheroes. Although to be fair, he didn't say all gun owners. He only said mentality of gun owners. So let's just say he thinks that I believe that this. I mean, I can only, I believe that it's realistic for me to assume, to infer from that statement that he believes that I mean that about at least most gun owners, which I definitely don't. So I said, you've read a lot into this OP, and I'll tell you, I'll let you think about that. I don't generally like conversing in threads with people who do what you just did there. I find more than 90% of the time that there is a little opportunity for constructive discourse. And yes, that's true. That's not always true, though. So I wasn't shutting him down. I wasn't insulting him. I wasn't firing back. I was just letting him know, hey, dude, I see what you did there. Yeah, he just came in and you just made a lot of assumptions. You didn't ask questions. So this pers uh, person responded who happens to be a friend of mine. I, I think that makes up a big amount of them. Yes. And I responded, I, I don't presume to know if that's true, but it certainly represents a fair amount. And he said, well, I've owned 65 guns and whatever since I was nine, and that doesn't make me an expert on people's mentality, but I've been around a lot. And yes, I think that often gun makes, guns make people believe that they're invincible or close to it. And my response was, I don't even think the majority, not, not that I know for sure. I don't. I don't know for sure. But just a certain set of people who seem to believe guns will stop everything. And the answer to everything is gun rights. Not that I'm shy about my support for total and unrestricted access to gun ownership. So now this person didn't respond after this, which is, I'm sad about that. The person didn't respond, didn't continue to engage in a conversation, would have had some clarifications maybe if that's what he was truly seeking. But he wasn't seeking clarification at least it doesn't seem that way. It seems to me, I think I can reasonably read it this way, though I can't tell for sure, it seems to me that his intention was to offer a bit of a slap down at somebody that he thought probably was a gun grabber. And, of course, if you're a gun grabber, it probably means that the reason you're a gun grabber is because you've been indoctrinated by the television. Now, ironically, I, I don't have any, I don't have cable TV. Well, actually, I have YouTube TV, but I only have it to watch sports. <laughs> I don't watch anything else. I watch YouTube videos and sometimes some Netflix shows, but yeah. <laughs> I don't get my news from Fox or CNN or NBC. Not that I don't come across some articles in those sites sometimes, but they're not my main source, and I definitely I can't, I can't listen to any one of those actual news outlets for more than three minutes without my eyes bulging out of my head and exploding because of the, the BS faction. It builds up uh, pretty quickly. And then uh, some, somebody posted a, a picture of themselves <laughs> and, they're, and they're laying down some tiles and they got a gun strapped to their back. <laughs> They'll say, and he said, BS. Uh, but <laughs> that's funny. 
that's that's great. I I I I don't have a problem with that response at all. And so uh, I said, uh, uh, I I. Uh, well, first I put a question mark because I didn't see the gun at first. I just saw him. And then I saw the gun. I was like, oh, oh, I didn't see that tool strapped to your back. I stand corrected. Right. Mic drop. He just totally blew me out the water. Clearly, guns solve all problems. I, I think it's I think he's joking, but it's still funny. And then this person and this person says, yeah, I love this one. I love this when you see a post and it's about a certain topic, and, and you're obsessed with a certain subject, and you decide that you're going to come into somebody else's post, and you're going to make it about the subject that you always want to talk about. And so this person said, the only reason why people are even talking about guns is because of multiple false flag operations. Feeling manipulated yet? And this person got three likes. The interesting thing is, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, uh, and one of the people who liked his comment was the guy who said, uh, turn off the TV. So <laughs> that's, not, that's not, a, not, not, not a surprise. And uh, I will say that generally, again, I'm speaking in generalities, not specificity. So if you fit into this category, I'm not picking on you. I don't know you. I would, I would assess you as an individual. But generally, the folks that are in the kind of conspiracy theory all day and all night crowd, they tend to be the most judgmental, the most quick to assume and attack that I've seen. I'm I don't know about anybody else's experience, but yeah, they, they tend to be generally very difficult to talk to, I'll just say. So I said, uh, spending my time figuring out what is or is not a false flag would make me feel manipulated. Now, I could have just said, dude, that's not the focus of the OP, but, but I was interested in seeing if I could talk to this guy and flush him out a little and see what exactly he's talking about. So I offered that counter. And yeah, that's that's a sincere statement. I, I do believe that. I, I believe that uh, there are a lot of conspiracy theories that are true. That, <laughs> uh, good luck proving them. And even if you prove them, good luck getting anybody else to believe it. And honestly, I don't think that proving conspiracy. I'm not saying that I'm absolutely right. I feel pretty good about this, though. I feel pretty good that. Uh, the pursuit of conspiracy theories is not going to yield great fruit. If your goal is the same as mine, now I'm assuming your goal is the same as mine, it might not be, but if your goal is the same as mine, that you want to see the coercive mo enterprise model of governance uh, come to an end uh, one way or another, but the pursuit of conspiracy theories, it may have some nominal good. You may be able to, to, to win some folks over by showing them the hideous reality of government by exposing them to conspiracy theories. So I won't say it's it's totally a waste of time, but generally, yeah, it's 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 I don't I don't see much of a point in it, and I don't spend I spend very little time pursuing conspiracy theories. But again, not judging people who do. I know I know a couple of folks that uh, they they're not all one hundred percent about conspiracy theories, but it's almost like. It's a fun thing for them. It's almost a hobby for them, and they, they get a lot of pleasure out of it. And I'm not – who am I to judge? I mean, I watch football games. Come on. That's a total, complete, utter waste of time, except for the fact that I enjoy them and they distract me for a period of time. I don't watch them nearly as much as I used to, but I do allow for myself to have these breaks from, from intensity, if you will. So I'm not going to judge them. Uh, but it continues here. Don't have to figure it out. Pretty obvious at this point. And then one of my friends came in and said, obviously, not that obvious. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It's not that obvious because if it was that obvious, more people would believe you. I mean, I'm not saying that you're not right. I'm just saying if it was obvious, most people would believe you. So, uh, uh, And then my friend said, I think people are talking about guns because it's a hot topic and has been for half a century. And I think that's that's mostly true. People have been, but but also it is true that uh, we are going through a peak time of talking about guns because of a few incidents like the Parkland shooting, which I'm sure this person believes is a false flag. And I'm. It's not that I'm unwilling to believe that this government isn't capable of deciding to do something like that for its own end. I'm not. I just. I'm not gonna. I just don't. 
well, how do I say it? It's not that I don't care if they did it. It's that I don't care to find out because it's not going to change at all my position and it's not going to fundamentally change the strategies that I believe will best advance the cause of 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 ending coercive enterprises as we know it. And uh, and then uh, the person added, obvious to those pay, paying attention, of course, is assumption. If you disagree with them, I guess that means you're not paying attention. Or if you just don't take it, you know, if you're not interested, I guess, I don't know. Uh, and then, uh, y yes, obviously, my, my friend gives the obvious question. You're assuming we don't pay attention? And this person just flat out says yes. So there you go. This person is absolutely assuming something about us without asking questions, without finding out who and what we are, just because we don't react in a way that he believes we should, because he's woke, I guess. Uh, and, of course, I responded, no. -uh. And, and then he says, okay, perhaps that is too harsh. Good. You walked it back a little. Great. You're paying attention to the propaganda that has spoon-fed everyone via the media that is controlled by the Rothschild Zionist Crime Network. Okay, he 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 unwalked it back. <laughs> so we're paying attention. Uh, yeah, but uh, I, I'm not going to go on with this. This goes on for a while. But uh, it, well, I'll I'll just get to the end here, which is you know I I basically said. Uh, yeah, you do you. I got no problem with you doing you. Not that you need my approval, but your path, your tactics are 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 not for me. And then he said, "That's cool," and that's that's that. So that was a good, you know. I mean, I don't agree with him. I'm, I don't necessarily disagree or or agree about what is or is not a false flag, but I don't agree with the the pursuit that he's taking. But you know, that's him. I'm I'm I don't know. I I don't have all the answers. Maybe he's right. I don't think he is, but maybe he is. So that ended okay. So he kind of started off with kind of a jerky kind of uh, tone, but uh, turned out okay. It was fine, even though we didn't come to a to an agreement at the end, but we came to a a, a peace. I'll I'll say a peace. You do you. That's cool. No problem. Uh, and then this, <laughs> this is just now the really beautiful thing about this, and I'm not going to say this person's name. Uh, <laughs> The person says, you're a retard then, as is so often the case with words like your. So often. Y-O-U-R, a retard then. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that, sir. I do appreciate that. You're a retard then. And this, this actually produced a, a, a fair amount of comments here. And I said, well, hello there, and welcome to my thread. How's your day going? And that's generally because he, he was the first one that this is guns a-blazing. This is boom, 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 shoot him up dead, kind of come in there, take no prisoners. And, and these were the kind of comments that they, they had been getting to me. I had been taking them personally. They were like toxic. There was like a like a toxic soup that I was drinking uh, when I read these comments, but, but now I'm having fun with them. So I don't, I don't, I don't take them nearly as personal, especially, especially if I don't know you. And this is the first time actually I've seen this person show up in one of my posts, which is also not a great sign, not a great sign. The first time you interact with someone based off of a post that could be read multiple ways Rather than asking questions, trying to figure out what they meant, you decide to call them a retard. Not a good way to begin a relationship if you're going to have one. And never mind the fact that saying the word retard is now considered, and man, I kind of agree with it. I mean, I'm not a PCer per se, but I do kind of agree that, that maybe we should let that word die because of how it's evolved in how we use it. Be that as it may, I'm I'm not going to call. I I didn't call the PC card on him. I wasn't at all interested in that. And uh, yeah, I had a couple people come in. One said, uh, "So uh, so uh, person name, can you use a gun uh, where you have a problem of a screw flathead? Right, exactly. Or a Phillips head? Right. Uh, it's like you 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 can't deny the truth of the statements. Now, what do they mean?" What point am I making? You can't fully tell from those two statements, uh, but you can't you can't tell. That's the thing. You can't tell. Now, as I 
walk through in the very beginning. Unless you have some degree of a relationship with me, the deeper the relationship, the more you might understand where I'm going with this. But if you have no relationship with me whatsoever, you have no real reason to assume uh, I mean anything. Well, I won't say no real reason. You you have reasons to assume, even if you're wrong, you have reasons to assume I might mean something. But again, if you want to have a conversation, then you start off with questions or or you make a statement that invites a conversation. But this person didn't want to do that. This person saw this, decided that I meant something, and went to the you're a retard. Now, to 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 the people's credit in the thread, nobody liked his comment. So that's good. I expected a couple of folks that I, I mentioned above, although I didn't use their names, I mentioned their comments. I I expected a, a couple of folks there to uh comment. Now this this was a, a a good 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 thread, although this person really didn't didn't interact at all, other than at one point uh he added protect what you have when you can, that is all. And I responded. Nothing about my OP denies that. <laughs> Nothing. And unfortunately, this person decided not to continue to interact. I, you know, I don't, I'm not surprised at that, really. But <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, uh, someone said, false. I can carry a gun and suddenly be able to run as fast as the bullets. That's fact. I cannot deny that. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I go through here. Oh, here's one. Guns can be very useful and important. No one seriously ever said that they make you, made you a superhero. What a silly post. Now, again, there's a lot of assum assumptions by that. So right away, I wouldn't put him in the, mm, Maybe maybe he's firing a 380 at me. I'll say that. He's kind of guns a blazing, but it's like a 380. He he didn't pull out his 9. Definitely didn't pull out his 40. And I mean the the guy above, the the you're a retard, that guy went run, run right to the 500 AE. <laughs> this guy he's at like 380 level there. So so my response to him was I stand by my post, so I'll have a lovely day. Again, I don't really believe I'm I'm and that that statement kind of leaves it open to have uh, a conversation kind of we'll see. <laughs> so he responds to that with you stand by your very silly and meaningless post. Great. This is not a conversation. He has seen a post that he has interpreted a certain way and he has come in to essentially chastise me to bring scorn and derision upon me. I don't know if he believes that bringing scorn and derision upon me will will that will will make me see the error of my ways or if he just wants me to feel the the, the upsetness that this post must have have delivered for him. I don't know. And I well, you'll see in the thread here I, where where this goes. Uh and I responded I stand by my very meaningful and serious post. But thanks for your opinion. That's that's it. Okay. So I'm thinking, yeah, probably done. But no, he came back. Now, he came back and this time, well, he well, he started off bad, but but he kind of offered some clarification for what he was talking about. So he created an opportunity for a conversation here. He said, "That's just dumb. I assume we're friends." Uh, because you have some respect for freedom and individual rights. That's a lot of assumptions there. Uh, uh, if you follow my Facebook posts at all, which you, you probably could figure some stuff out. If you don't follow some of my Facebook posts, you really can't, can't, can't assume that. Uh, you, you may have some hidden convoluted point that is valid, but it is not shown in your post. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I, I do have some hidden convoluted point that is well, I, I think it's valid, uh, and it's not hit, uh, shown in my post, and I don't have a problem with that. <clears throat> my comment is clear and addresses exactly why this post is silly. The No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't because you made an assumption that was never stated in my post. No one seriously ever said they made you a superhero. You will have to ask me a question to see if that's what I meant when I said guns don't make you a superhero. Maybe 
I was just randomly stating facts that meant nothing. Probably not likely, but maybe. Yeah, yeah. A conversation starts with a question or a statement that invites clarification. But that's not that's not what you did. You made an assumption and you made a you made a point in your post that wasn't even in the OP. Uh, it is a fact that guns can be very useful and important, and no reasonable person thinks they solve all problems or make you a superhero. Well, my OP doesn't actually say that. And what does reasonable person mean? Do we believe that most people are reasonable? Hmm. I don't know. The post just appears to be an emotional blurb of a liberal snowflake. <laughs> Go ahead and stand by it, but you should know what it makes you appear as in and of itself. I don't care what it makes me appear. The people that have conversations with me that ask questions or have comments which invite conversation, yeah, I'm probably going to want to keep connected to those folks. The people that are going to assume whatever they're going to assume based on one post in my Facebook page, I probably probably not going to have a lot of constructive conversations with them anyway, which, by the way, just a little hint of what's to come about why I do some of these posts. Just just keep that in mind. Uh, and then I said, well, that's not been my experience at all. I've personally met and talked to these folks who thinks if you have a gun, you're just about invincible to it. Do they literally think they're a superhero? No, they don't say they're literally a superhero but it's a it's kind of a figure of speech i think uh most people could probably figure that out but if you if you couldn't figure it out if you ask questions you'll find out that it's a figure of speech so uh and that that so long as we have guns we have freedom and everything is cool i and actually the the there's there's some folks that they kind of believe you know if you have a gun you know like the the when, when parkland happened everybody like well if the teachers just had guns this wouldn't have happened there are tons of people that were talking like that. Like like just having a gun made people invincible. Where, are they going to carry around rifles? No, no, they were talking about teachers having handguns. If a teacher had a handgun, if there was a teacher there, if somebody was there with a handgun, this is what they were saying. A handgun versus an AR-15. A handgun in the hands of someone who's not fully trained versus an AR-15. Your chances are not very good. A handgun, a gun alone is not going to solve that problem unless it's in, well, even if you're capable with a handgun, you, you still, it, it may be 50-50. I don't know. I, I don't pretend to know the odds, but I imagine the odds would work, move up the, the more well-trained you were and the less well-trained the one with the AR-15 was. But generally speaking, an AR-15 versus a handgun, you're in a lot of trouble because you could hit him two, three, four times and he's still in the fight. He can knock you out. There's a fairly good chance he can knock you out with one hit with, with a five, five, six. So yeah. Yeah. These people exist. <laughs> they exist in spades. I'm not even, I and no, I, 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 I disagree with my one friend. I don't think it's, it's most gun owners. I, I think it's a minority. I think it's a substantial minority, though, of gun owners. And and some gun owners, they fit into one category, which is that they think guns solve all problems. If you have a gun, you know, all we got to do is, you know, we have a gun. We protect against violence. This is shut down. No problem. Uh, and then and then there are the folks that uh, they they. They're, con they're carriers, and they're, you know, they, they feel like nothing bad could happen to them. They go to bed at night, and they imagine because they have a gun that they're totally safe. I've talked to these people. I've had conversations with them where I've literally tried to talk them out of their invincibility mode to bring them into reality. I do not go to bed at night, even though I have guns by my bed. I don't go to bed at night feeling like I'm totally safe and nothing bad could happen to me. But many folks do. And they do, with, do so at their own peril. Because if you get into a sticky situation and things don't start to go right for you, you, you it could produce panic. But if you go into it with a realistic expectation that I'm not invincible and things are not necessarily going to go good for me if I go into the situation with a gun, if something does start to go bad, you can handle it a lot better. 
you won't be as shocked by it as as some of these folks that I personally talk to. So this is the conversation that we can have, not starting off with what a silly post. <laughs> uh, anyway, this this thing went on. I don't want to go through all of this. I'll, I, 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 this, this, this was actually a, a decent thread. And I will say he, his last statement here, I'll read that, which I don't 100% agree with it, but eh, I gave it a like anyway. Uh, people that ask questions, at least with intellectual honesty and integrity, are already individuals. That's right. That's right. That's so right. That's, that's what you should do. Ask questions before you assume you know what that means. You're telling me that I should be worried that people are going to think that I'm a liberal because of a post. Like, if if they think that I'm a liberal because of this post, uh, uh, a snowflake liberal, I believe you said, if they think I'm a snowflake liberal from this post, then they're not asking questions. They're not. A, they're probably not individualists. They're probably not intellectually honest. I'm probably not going to have a lot of good conversations with them. However, there are millions and millions of people who support the idea of running society centrally through the violence of government, the collectivist status. Yep, totally agree with that. Lots of them. Regardless of the fact that only individuals act, uh, this philosophy results in violation of rights and a hindrance to prosperity and peace. I bet you are friends with some on Facebook. I am actually friends with them on Facebook. Yes, not just by force, also by words. Words that support an individual's right to own private property. That's right. It, you're talking about ideational, what I call ideational influence. And ideational influence is, is, a, is a certain, uh, certainly a significant uh, equation in the reality of power. And there's a super ideational influence across the land that empowers the the folks that would be willing to go out and and take up guns given to them by the government to collect guns from other people but still it was it was okay that that conversation i i mean i i hope maybe the guy stays around has a little bit more conversations with me and maybe we can get a better understanding of one another cuz i think there's a yeah there's a chance there this is somebody that i could actually have conversations with and i'm not sure but i put a pin in it <laughs> A little red flag, pin in it, make a note. And and by the way, this is another person, first time I've seen them showing up on my Facebook page. So, hey, welcome to my Facebook page. And uh, there's more stuff here, but I'm going to I'm gonna stop it. Oh, well, I did get this. Take your meds. <laughs> I don't know if it's meant in jest or fun or, or whatever, but uh, okay, take my meds. Okay. Uh, uh, and then, oh, I, I, I should have had this set up because... Uh, uh, one person had a has a gif, a gif, whatever. Of I, I get this. I, I, where is this from? Oh, it's just this dude uh, kind of looking somberly down. He's like, mm, mm. again, I don't know how to take that. I kind of take it as a funny. I, I, I gave him a little laugh emoji. Uh, oh, oh, and somebody said, stay away from gun issues. Apparently, I'm not allowed to speak on gun issues now. <laughs> Go to your room. So. So there you have it. That's and this is uh, this is going to be an irregular show, and this may be the last show I ever do because I'm not going to intentionally try to create uh, posts that produce this type of reaction that gives me an opportunity to have the type of show. But there's a pretty good chance that I will, and the reason that I will is getting to why. Now this part, this is I'm just adding this. This isn't this. This isn't something to bear in mind, like you know, looking at other people's posts. And I, I think the principles are: if you see a post and it triggers you, and and by the way, triggering is not a bad word for me. Sometimes it's good to be triggered. Some things need to be triggered, like when people stand up and say that uh, you know, they would they would dearly love to see all gun owners killed, and you're yeah, I'm triggered by that. I'm totally triggered by that. That ticks me off. It's I'm not a snowflake for being triggered by someone suggesting that I be killed. Not at all. That's that's not a snowflake response. That's a legit reason to be triggered. So triggering in and of itself is not a bit bad thing. So you you may have a good reason to be triggered, but but give the person a, a an opportunity. Have a conversation. Whether it's asking clarifying questions 
or whether it's making a statement that invites a conversation. Instead of just, just coming in there with, you're an idiot, wow, you're so stupid. Uh, I can't believe that you said the things that you said about those things. I actually made a Facebook post, I believe, before this. And, <laughs> oh, I got to find it here. Oh, uh, no, no, that's not it. I got to scroll on down. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, I, I wasn't actually prepared to have this up, so that's why. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I made this post some time back. Uh, and this is in response to just this this kind of stuff right here. And this is why I'm going to do this show. This is what face posium is, is about. Uh, that thing you said, you're wrong. And I can't believe you're such an idiot and so indecent. Sincerely, Facebook Moral Lords. So I gave you an example there of some Facebook Moral Lords. And I think the uh, the acronym for that is FML, I believe. Something. I don't know. Does that mean something else? I don't. I hope not. I hope not, because because uh, I don't want to think I ripped anybody off with that with the FMLs. Uh, so I'm 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 gonna read one last thing here, which was I made a, now. Interestingly, okay, so I made this Facebook post, which got pretty decent reactions. I've had other Facebook posts that have actually gotten more, uh, sometimes way 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 more intense even than this, but. Yeah, I've, it's, 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 a, it's a good response. It's definitely worthy of, of this show. So I wrote this. Now, interestingly enough, this one, this got, it got some reaction, but nowhere near the reaction that that last post got. And thus also not nearly as many opportunities for conversations as that post garnered. And and I didn't read some of the I, I read a couple of the positives, but there were actually a number of positives, uh, positive conversations. So I I got what I wanted and I got some good conversations and I learned some things. It was good. Uh, the debate over gun control, the efforts to write laws and regulations and the efforts to enforce these laws and regulations designed to prevent people from acquiring and possessing tools of self-defense would be a silly, useless debate. And futile effort if more of, of us, in quotes, concentrated more on building our own personal power and networking with others doing the same. Laws are wishes made true by people with guns or people who submit to them because authority is their God. That's the ideational power. One is force power and one is ideational power. The more people there are that can make the enforcement more difficult and the authority God more of a Santa Claus myth we, uh, we can laugh off, the less effective the enforcement and the more pointless the debate. It's not just guns that will impede their ability to enforce their laws. Now, let me tell you the purpose for these types of posts. These types of posts get a lot more attention. I got a lot more people coming in, and I would say 75% or more, actually, they come in with for, with conversations in mind, and I have conversations. And I have opportunities when they come in to then clarify my points. And then I can offer to the folks that come in a more detailed case that I'm actually trying to make, uh, a detailed point that I'm trying to make. Uh, and I get a lot more people that I can sh then share this, these ideas with in that method rather than that post that I wrote right there. That post that I wrote right there, it got some reaction, not a lot, not nearly as much as this 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 other post. And then there's another another reason that I that I do these kinds of posts, and that is every once in a while. Well, not every once in a while, fairly regularly. I like to see who's 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 in my who's in my community, so to speak, what kind of people, who, who are the people that I can actually talk to and who are the people that I may want to consider not, not wasting so much time with. Uh, so uh, posts like these that I leave open-ended, it invites the people that are quick to judge. It invites the, uh, it, the, 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 the Facebook, uh, the, the, the Facebook morality Lords and Lordettes it invites them in, 
And and again, like I said, if you come into one of my posts like this and you immediately start firing away, doesn't mean that I'm immediately and forever putting you in this category, but it means, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm going to watch out for that. Now, there are lines that, that uh, I have boundaries, uh, just like most of us do. So it, like in this particular post, nobody crossed that fundamental boundary, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I don't want to get into what those boundaries are because it's not particularly relevant to this to this show. But I do have boundaries, and so every once in a while, uh, I may just decide, you know what, bye. Whether it's a and you know there's gradations. There's unfollow, there's friend, unfriend, and then there's block. But at the very least, it it gives me a, a put, put a little pin in it and say, okay, I'll remember that. And so somewhere down the road, if if this is a pattern that I see from you, I'm less likely to want to have conversations with you. And then it moves it up that scale of uh, unfollow, uh, unfriend, and uh, block. And the reason is, for me, Facebook is only in part an outreach tool to the uninitiated, if you will, to the state of state faces, if you will. And I do have state of state face friends. You know who you are. Uh, and, uh, it, so, so, so I have some degree of outreach, but that's really not for me the primary reason that I have a Facebook page. The biggest two reasons that I have for my Facebook page, I'll be really honest. One is to share my shows and my articles for iState. That's iState.tv. Yeah. Or you go to wirewatch.news and see everything much easier at a glance. Plus you get links to all kinds of other, uh, uh, stories out there that I don't have time to cover. Uh, but, but yeah, I use it to promote my stuff shamelessly. I'm a shameless self promoter, and I don't apologize for that. Uh, and then uh, the second reason, and really, they're they're kind of really, really close. Like I don't know which one's more important. I think they're both essential. And that is, I use it to network to find people like myself, not exactly like myself, but enough like myself that these are people that I could work with. These are people that I want to promote because I promote myself, but I promote a lot of other folks too. I promote, uh, if I believe that your success, success being a relative term here, but if I believe that your success will advance my cause, which is to see the eventual disappearance of the coercive center of enterprise, I will promote you. I will, I'll do whatever I can with, within my uh within the the resources that I have I will do what I can to promote you I I I support people I support people on Patreon I share people's stuff uh I buy people's stuff I do whatever I can to help others like me and this Facebook page those are the primary purposes of my Facebook page one is to promote my stuff and the other is to network with like-minded folks and build associations where we can all help one another uh, build our own bases of power and and see one another do that as well and have as we all get more and more resources we can rely on one another more and more it's just like john smith has created a facebook page it's called uh made in anarchy m-a-d-e made in anarchy uh, i think just do the search and check it I, I strongly suggest you like that page i know i have and it's it's a place for people to come together that buy stuff or that that sell stuff, and for whether you're a seller or a buyer or or both, whatever, it's a place to come together and say, hey, before I buy from anyone, I'm going to buy from someone in this this community, if you will, this community of folks that all share at least one core goal. And we have many, many different paths that we think we can get there. And we have many different ways that we think it will look afterwards. But we all have one goal, which is to see, <coughs> pardon me, the coercive enterprise go away. So that network of folks, that's, that's, that's why I do what I do so much on Facebook. And that's why my, 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 my post will continue. You're going to see more of these and... Uh, I'm going to have more folks that are going to come in and they're going to come in again and again with the, uh, you need to clarify. And no, I, I don't not, not unless you want to have a conversation. If you want to have a conversation, I don't need to clarify, but I want to, but if you don't want to have a conversation, I don't, I don't want to clarify. I don't really want to have a, I don't want to try to have a conversation. I don't want to speak to a brick wall. 
as as <laughs> to borrow the biblical saying, I don't want to throw my pearls before swine. And I'm not saying that you're literally swine. And I'm not saying that I'm always correct in my assessments of people that I would put into that category. All it means is you don't throw your valuables in front of someone that is just going to stomp on them and not do anything with it but spit them back at you. That's all that means. And so <laughs> that's that's how I approach Facebook. So that's it. This show is over. And, you know, I think I'm going to end the show with the video opening. And then after the video opening is over, when the little... Uh, when it goes off, when the little uh, nuclear missile, nuclear bomb goes off, that's when I'll end the show. And, uh, yeah, th ironically, this is called the face posium, but I'm not going to be trying to look at comments or addressing comments as I do this show. So, uh, or, or, or afterwards. I'll look at the comments afterwards, and I may respond through comments. So thank you, everybody, who joined me on the show. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll play you out with this. You see, the usual gang of misfits and dope addicts are here. Hey, look, look at that. Look at those assholes over there. Ordinary fucking people. I hate them. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> land on the earth and say they're going to blow up the world in two days. What do you do? If I got that money, I'd give it all to the homeless. Every cent. You're beautiful. If you're going to openly be a bitch. It's just Heather. Why can't we talk to different kinds of people? Fuck me gently with a chainsaw. You keep using the horde. I don't think it means what you think it means. See, an ordinary person spends his life avoiding tense situations. Facebook! man spends his life getting into tense situations. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! <laughs> I love that at the end. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining me. On this uh, on this show, which went way longer than I thought it would, have a great rest of your evening.